Hi guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Flower Friend. So this week is gonna be a really crazy week. Not only do we have a FedEx truck on its way, but this week we are also ordering yurts for the community. These yurts are gonna help us raise money by having a little Airbnb on the land. I have a fully booked week this week. Every single day I'm gonna be working, doing dread work, trying to make money. We only have three months before we head out there. We have very little time. Not only am I ordering a lot today, but I'm also going to be changing my hair. As much as I love rainbow, I am really, really missing um, some natural tones. This is really fun. I really like it, but it's time for um, some chillness. I gotta change my makeup every single day to match my rainbow hair. So today we're going to chop all of my hair off yet again. If anyone's interested in buying the dreadlocks, message me on Hippie Hospital. I will totally send them out to you. And some of these are even just like in here randomly, like this one. I could just pull it right out. We still have the donation link up. Um, we need close to $8,000 more to start this project. So here we go. Good morning. Really excited. So um, I don't even know what it's gonna look like. I hope it matches the ambulance. <laughs> Oh my god! It's insane! This thing is crazy. That's how tall it is. Oh my so short. <laughs> Is an international FedEx truck. They did not lie. It's we like 2016. Not expected to be this big. That's what she said. Oh my! Twice the size, three times the size of our ambulance. So like maybe two times. Yeah, it's two times. Just did the transaction. We're so excited to start cleaning it up. We got it. Hello. All right. So we ended up buying the FedEx truck. It is awesome. Um, we still have to continue the week because we have a big, big week ahead of us. I have two clients coming right now, Stormy and her fiance. We will be doing his top hair today. All right. So this is day three after we already purchased the truck. Now we are making lists and lists to try to get prepared more for going out to Elko. So right now we're trying to get organized and ready to go out to Elko. All right, so a lot has happened recently. We got the truck, everything was going great, went to the DMV, found out that there's a stop on the vehicle. Uh, it was stopped for some reason, probably for someone putting too much weight in the back of the truck, and when it was at a way station, they flagged it because it was more weight than it was on, allowed on the paper when it was a commercial vehicle. We are trying to get it from commercial to RV, but we can't do that with a stop on the vehicle. We don't know which state it was stopped in, so we are trying to call almost every state to figure out where the stop is and call every department. Um, it's been a day. Once we figure that out, then we have to go to another state to register it because there's a brand new law saying that we can't even have the type of vehicle that we have registered in California unless we completely change out the engine. So we've hit a couple of walls here, a couple of problems. Even though I'm going to be moving to the land pretty soon, the land doesn't have an address, so I can't even change my ID to that address. So that was another thing that was kind of a problem. Uh, Vixen, that will be moving uh, to the property. She is going to probably be um, our saving grace here. As she has um, Las Vegas residency, she can actually register the vehicle so we did find out that that might be a way we can get this done. Because she's also eventually gonna move on to the property. Vixen! Um, so as we're figuring all this out, I'm doing my client's hair and people walk up. And I'm parked uh, at my mom's house right now doing dread work because we're storing everything here at her house uh, to take out to the property. And people walk up and say, hey, you guys have 60 days, days to vacate because we have all this stuff here a truck that we can't get registered yet to move anything and um an entire work project to take care of on top of figuring out these issues two days to figure out where to go what to do um we do have some friends that we're going to be moving into on the property so we might even just uh do rooms over there um which could make it easier because then we could take all of the vehicles in one location out to the land and back and back back um 
so it could work out. Um, we got some brand new information. Uh, we decided to put in a file for uh, the air traffic place that was actually having the stop on the vehicle. Um, we're really excited because that means we can actually use the vehicle, do this, be able to move and everything. We got it, it yeah. worked. Oh my gosh, it was a long shot, but we did it. So the next thing that we have to really focus on now that we have the truck figured out and situated, um, and we're gonna go to the DMV in a couple of days to get that all taken care of. Um, next is gonna be the well. We asked around and found out that we have to get a well permit, get the well installed, and after that we can get a septic permit, get a septic installed, and then after getting a septic permit, we can then get a building permit. So we have a couple of stages to go still. Um, we need to still save up close to uh, three to 10K just for either the well and the septic. Because in Elko, even if you're gonna park just an RV, it's gonna be longer than 28 days. You need a well and a septic tank. We have two months until Elko. We don't have really a lot of time. We're gonna be busting our butts trying to get this place organized, um, get all the volunteers organized. Thank you guys so much for all the donations. It has really helped us get what we need. On our way right now to the DMV. Um, we hope this time it works. We are crossing our fingers Thanks, and boss. here we go. So we're at the DMV right now and Lorenzo decided he wanted to play hot potato with coffee and it spilled all down it. my legs and my shoes and now I'm at the DMV covered in coffee. Super excited. Uh, at least I don't have to go in. So we did it, we actually got it, but now the DMV won't let us leave because the fire truck parked behind us. We did it! Finally! We registered it! Ah, it's registered! Ah, I'm so excited. Okay, so we had, we have waited a total of like almost Three six hours. hours total in D at the DMV to get this thing freaking registered, so we're super excited. <sighs> so, I have some interesting news. They took the house off of the market, and that means that we're going to continue doing what we were doing. I don't even know how I feel about this right now. I feel kind of like numb to everything just because it's so much back and forth. Emotionally drained from this video, give it a like up. <laughs> oh my God. I think I'm gonna go shave my head now. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it so far, please give us a like watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We're excited that we got the truck and that everything is getting a little bit more neutral and soon we'll be moving forward. All right, we'll see you next week how everything is. This is <laughs> exciting.